What's up people, Frankenstein again from Millionaire Mindset. In this video, I will talk about my top 10 money tips for you. These tips are for people of all age groups. You might know some of these tips already, but watch till the end and you might find some tips that are useful for you. Let's get right into it. My first tip is regarding investing. Did you know that you can invest your spare change? Acorns is an investing app that lets you invest your spare change. How the heck does that work? It is very simple. Let's say you use your credit card to make a purchase of $5.75. Acorns will round this up to $6 and invest the remaining $0.25. Cents. It is all done automatically. All you need to do is link your credit cards and debit cards to your Acorns account and the app will take care of the rest. You just sit back and relax. Now $0.25 cents may seem like a small amount to invest but if you do this with all your daily purchases it adds up. Do this for a few years and you'll be amazed. My next tip is for you to open a Roth IRA account. Many of us miss out on the tax benefits that are being offered to us. What is a Roth IRA? Roth IRA is a retirement account that lets you grow your money tax free. The only drawback is that you cannot pull your money out of a Roth IRA before you turn 59. And if you do, you have to pay a penalty, although there are some exceptions. Not being able to pull your money out of your account before you turn 59 is what scares most people and that is why they don't utilize this benefit. My take is that you think of Roth IRA as a retirement fund because it is a retirement account, duh. Only put money in your IRA that you will not need in the short term. My friends, your money grows tax free, think about it. Moving on, my next tip is for you to automate your investments. Here's a look at my personal debit account. I have three automatic deposits that hit every week. These deposits go straight to my investment account. Actually, I have one more account that you can't see here, but my point is, the money is deducted from my account before I even see it. Even if it is just a small amount, set up automatic deposits from your checking account to your investment account. This tip goes hand in hand with M1 Finance, which is a brokerage account. M1 Finance lets you automate your investment. I've covered M1 Finance in another video. Be sure to check that out. Number four, set up a budget for yourself if you're single or for your family. Mint is a free app that lets you do just that. Mint is a budget planner and a budget tracker. If you have a lot of credit cards like I do, you can put them all in one place. The app will tell you exactly how much you've spent and if you went over budget. Also, it helps me be organized. I literally have six credit cards, two debit cards, one saving account, three brokerage accounts. Phew, that's a lot. How do I keep track of all of these accounts? Through this app. This is a very useful app to help you remain organized and to plan and track your finances. It is a one-stop go for all your finances, even your brokerage accounts. My fifth tip for you is to look for a better credit card. There are some credit cards out there which offer as much as 2% cash back on all purchases. Here's one from PayPal and in my opinion, 2% on purchases is the best credit card you can get in the current market. If you get a better deal, then go for it. Why not? If you have credit cards, pay attention to the cashbacks and make the most of your benefits. Here's another credit card from Fidelity. Again, 2% unlimited cashback on all purchases, which is invested directly to your brokerage account. Some credit card companies like American Express provide you with car rental insurance if you use their car to rent a car. Pay attention to your credit card rewards and use them wisely. Next, avoid too many credit cards with an annual fee. Annual fee makes sense in some cases, but do not have too many credit cards with an annual fee. And if you do have an annual fee on a certain credit card, see if you can get it waived. Some credit card companies will waive your annual fee if you call and ask them nicely. I have Capital One Quicksilver credit card which has an annual fee. I've had this fee waived for 3 straight years now. The seventh tip I have for you is to open a health savings account also called the HSA account. Just like the Roth IRA, an HSA account lets you grow your money tax free. This is very helpful if you do not have a good health insurance. HSA is a handy way for you to save for unforeseen medical expenses. Go to your health insurance website and see if they offer an HSA. Even if your health provider does not offer an HSA, you could still open an account using a different provider. 
The biggest advantage of having an HSA is that your money grows tax-free and if you withdraw money for eligible expenses, your money still does not get taxed. For example, say you make $40,000 a year and you put $2,000 in your HSA. You will be taxed as though you make $38,000 a year, thus lowering your tax burden. Do some research on HSA and see if it's right for you. Next, improve your credit score. You should check your credit score on a regular basis. And you can do this very easily using free websites, for example, Credit Karma, or better yet, most credit card companies these days offer this option. I've discovered and Capital One credit cards and they both offer free credit check. This gives you a decent idea of where your score is and where it should be. An easy way to improve your credit score is to call your credit card company and ask them to increase your credit limit. In most cases, this should work. Here are the top five factors that affect your credit score. Credit utilization is one of them. If you ask for a credit raise and not increase your spending, your utilization should go down and your credit score should go up. It is one of the easiest way to improve your credit score. Tip number nine is mostly for parents. Open a 529 college savings plan for your kids. What exactly is a 529 savings plan? 529 plan is an education savings plan offered by your state. Nearly all states are offering this these days. The savings in this account can be used for tuition, books, or any other education-related expense. But why use a 529 plan? Well, just like a Roth IRA and an HSA account, 529 plans have tax benefits as well. Any earnings in your 529 plan grow federal tax-free, and in some states, you can even get a state tax deduction, although this would depend from state to state. But the sooner you open a 529 plan for your kids, the easier it is for you to help them save for college. My last tip is related to insurance. It is a good idea to shop for insurance every couple of years. Don't be afraid of switching from one company to another. Chances are if you plan on switching to another company, your current company is going to try and keep you. Maybe offer you a better deal as well. If you own a house always, or at least in 90% of the cases, bundle your home and auto insurance. Also, don't forget to check out Zebra, which is an app that lets you compare car insurance rates. Be sure to check it out. Here's a bonus tip. Avoid buying new cars. A new car loses its value faster than a speed of light. In three years, your new car would have depreciated 60% or so. So why not buy a slightly used car that has already depreciated, say, 20%? If you're not this guy, buy used cars. That is all I have for you in this video. Leave a comment and tell me if I missed out on an important money tip. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.